Hey guys, look, I want to show you this trick. Watch this. You got a little piece of pipe and it has an X on it and it's got an O on it. Now watch this. If I put my finger on the O and spin it, what do you see? O! Oh. It's all O's! Yes, all O's! Crazy! Finger on the X and spin it. Harder. Do it again. Austin's turn this time. Put your finger on the X and spin it. Hey, what'd you see that time? I saw, saw X. Only X's. Oh, there we go. Don't touch it. X's. Yeah. So you're going to spin it from the top, and I'm going to go underneath and look with this flashlight. Mm -hmm. Yep. Where I see X's. I saw O's. You did? Yeah. I yep. see O's. Definitely, definitely X's. And O's. It's a long time. So why do you think that is? We put our finger on the O, and we just see O's. We put our finger on the X, and we only see X's. What's going yeah. on? Okay, so when I put my finger on the X and release it, we see the X like that, because two things are happening. When I release it, we get a spinning, but we also get a rotating like this. And when it's j if you just look at the spinning, both the X and the O are moving past our eye at the same speed. But when you add in the rotation, because I pulled it in like this, for the X, it puts it in our line of sight for a longer time. It subtracts from the spinning speed. But look at how the O moves. The O spinning and rotating are added together. The rotating of the O is moving the O in the same direction as the spinning of the O, but the rotating of the X is moving the X in the opposite direction as, as the spinning of the X, like this. X is spinning past our eye this way, but rotating past our eye the other way, so it gives us a longer chance to look at the X than the O. Baby Put your finger on the X and spin it. Oh, no. What the heck? <laughs>